How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Wee Lad FFAR that just released here in Black Ops Cold War Season 2. So this is what the blueprint looks like. It just looks like something that is very St. Patrick's themed. I mean, it looks really good. The tracers are very vibrant, very bright green, and it has this really cool dismemberment where if you get a headshot, I believe, uh, it drops like coins and it sounds like coins are being dropped. It's a cool blueprint, I'm gonna be honest. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to change some attachments because they kind of give you some poopy ones. And in Cold War, it's a lot different than Modern Warfare. So I'm gonna give you the best setup right now. So starting us off with the muzzle here, the SOCOM Eliminator for 17% vertical recoil control. The FFAR has a lot of bouncy vertical and horizontal recoil, and the SOCOM Eliminator totally helps in the vertical category. For the barrel, you're going to want to run the reinforced heavy barrel for 100% effective damage range and 40% bullet velocity. The Task Force does is technically the better barrel here, but the recoil that you get from it is just not worth it. For the body, the Steady Aim Laser for 20% hip fire accuracy, and there's zero cons to running it. For the underbarrel, the field agent grip to take care of the horizontal and vertical recoil control that I was talking about here with the FFAR. For the magazine, we're going with the 44 round fast mag. This thing shoots extremely quickly. So as you can imagine, it runs out of bullets really quickly. In stock, this thing has a really slow reload speed. So the fast mag is definitely necessary. For the handle, the airborne elastic wrap to maximize your aim down sight time. And finishing us off with the Raider stock here for 30% sprint to fire time and 40% aim walking movement speed. I think I got a fairly decent gameplay for you guys with this weapon. It showcases the tracers, the weapon as a whole, and the class setup. I got 114 kills, choked a few nukes, which stinks, but I still think I did a pretty good job showcasing the weapon. If you guys are new to the channel and would like to find your way back for more content just like this, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. That'd be absolutely fantastic. If you like what you see, make sure you also smash the like button as it will help promote the video to other people looking for the same kind of content. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, we got this new FFAR blueprint with the tracers on it and whatnot. Uh, this thing is actually beautiful. I'm not a fan of the FFAR, but one thing I am a fan of is these tracers and this blueprint. This thing is amazing. All right, good shot, dude. I didn't... The FFAR is one of those guns I'm just not good with. It's so much different in Cold War than it is This guy is cracked! I am not off to a good start. I've been playing for like four hours with this thing. And I can't, I can't do anything. I don't know what it is. I really don't know. I can't use an FFAR. I always struggle with it. Positive vibes. I've been yelling way too much today. If you guys ever want to get like a rage compilation on me, let me know. I'll, I could look into it. There's a kid I needed to kill. I got him. Oh my gosh, man. I can't get anything going. We're 15 points in and I'm 10 and 5. Please reach out. Thank you. Death machine. We're on this way. 
Don't like this. Nice. Yeah, I'm a smoke man. He had a shotgun. All right, we got 40 kills though, actually. This is low-key a vibe now. We're starting to heat up. We can get a 100 bomb here, easy. But, um... FFAR is really not a good weapon. I don't know how it can be so good in Warzone and so bad in Cold War. It's just not something that makes much sense to me, I guess. I don't know how I heard him. machine again. More machine. I'm not going to burn any of these. You have a shotgun, dude. Chill. Thank you for the harp. Nice. 59 and 8 at the half. We can get a big second half here. All right. We're going to go with the harp and the war machine. Get things started off good here. Bam, harp. Bam, war machine. How did you almost kill me? No way. Dude, but that spot should not be a thing. That should not be a thing. Take your shotgun and shove it. Oh, I'm freaking dead. I knew it. We got 75 kills. That stinks, though. That war machine would have been so big.
Nope. Minotaur, I have no idea I'm alive. I'm 60 at close range, just beat me. I just got a hit marker through the wall. They yeah, really spawn there again? Oh no, they spawn over here. made almost cost me. I gotta see this. He's definitely walked into my shot, right? Or I walked... Quick scoping. Auto lock on, man. Can you die? What? Dude, that's the second time. What is that? There's no way. This sniper kid, he is so annoying. They have these kids don't move. Please die. This sniper kid is going to kill, like... What are you doing? Alright, 114, I'll take it. I am just really tired, I'm getting off for the day. If you guys enjoyed the video, you guys can make sure you hit that like button for me. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you also hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.